Okay, so I've not filmed on this in a long time. I think it's time to uh, address this fact. So a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, I'll actually put some images up on the screen of the actual view counts that you guys are noticing on these videos. Uh, we're substantial. So the feedback we got on these two vehicles are crazy. You guys really liked them. You liked what we were doing with them. And I wanted to address the facts and what's going on with them and why they just kind of disappeared from the channel. So you can see Mike's behind me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, even more so, we have the Trail Cruster behind me. This is the notorious, what year is this thing? It's been so long, I forgot the year. 70, 77? Yes, sir. Okay, 77. Uh, this is a Plymouth Trail Duster. It's not a Dodge Ram Charger. So, it's a little bit, I mean, as you can see, it has a Dodge grill, but where are you going to find a Plymouth grill? So, this is a video, this is a project that we were working on back in like winter, like eight months ago, six months ago? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while, but this has been sitting here temporarily because other projects have been coming up. So, Mike has found a new occupation, so that takes a lot of his time. A lot of his time. Working constantly. Yes. So, working more times than I can never imagine myself doing. So, he works his butt off. So, because of that, there's a lot of delays with different projects. So, we're trying to film videos on bigger projects, like, you know, taking the whole front suspension apart on one vehicle and getting it back together. That's like a little series. It's kind of hard to finish that when, you know, you work how many hours roughly? A week 55 55 it's like come on you know you don't get any you, you get home you don't want to work on trucks when you get home when it's hot out so yeah. yeah so it's like i felt it was nice to a good time to actually kind of go over this stuff with you guys so get we can all get kind of on the same page and you guys know what to expect in the future so this truck is unfortunately still kind of at the bottom of the totem pole on things um we've got I think two or three other projects in front of it. Um, and then this one will come out. I'll kind of let Mike talk a little bit more about it because he knows it's obviously his stuff. Um, and we'll kind of give you a full rundown from the power wagon to the trail duster to other projects that we have going on around here, um, as well as my own projects. So we just kind of give you a full little rundown of what you guys can expect throughout, you know, the end of this year and mostly of 2020. So, okay, with this truck, so. Okay, the 77 Plymouth trail duster, basically what we're gonna be doing is, is it's getting put on hold. Um, like he said, we've got a couple of other projects are are in line. Um, the black truck with the graphics that everybody likes has been kind of put on hold due to my new job and having issues trying to find parts for the transfer case and everything else. So I'm kind of at a standstill on that truck right now. We have, have come up with a new plan for the truck. Some of you may enjoy it. Some of you might be mad at me for what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it, um, it was my idea. You guys can blame me. Totally okay with that. Yeah, but I agreed with it. So hey, <laughs> I think it's gonna turn out really cool we've done some renderings on it and the way it looks it looks like it's going to be a lot funner vehicle um some of the stuff that we're going to be changing on that could end up on the trail duster the trail duster right now is going to be on the last last of the line of cars to do we have another one that we're going to be working on some of you may have seen corners of it in the other videos there's not been any information done, given on it but you'll get the finished product and a couple of the videos we've had secret missions on that so um, it'll be coming out here shortly and then there's another project that we just got that i want to uh get running get really nice and just get sell it to uh, fund some of the other vehicles sorry for the delay on everything we've been working i've been slowly working on the on the big truck the the black truck just not in we we haven't had enough time to do any videos on it and i apologize it's partially my fault because the way i work so hey life happens yep so um we'll give you an update on everything shortly and you'll be seeing a new project uh, that's completed and Oh, it's a good one. On the road, and I think everybody else is going to enjoy it too. That's uh, that's all that's going on. Hopefully, you guys like what we do with the black truck. Um, I think it's going to turn out a lot better than the path that we were on. Uh, the path that we were on, I think, was a good one, but it can definitely be a lot better. It'll all go full circle. Everything will work out. Everything so. will work out. So hopefully, yeah. you guys enjoy it. If not, please let us know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anything we say, feel free to comment below, by the way. Yep. But I guess this is kind of, as I showed in, I believe, the last video, uh, nothing's really changed on this. You know, we started doing some body work, getting all the old crappy spray paint off of this thing, but really nothing has changed. This thing is still gutted out. Um, it has amazing paint, and I can't really bring the exposure up enough um, to kind of show off that paint. Uh, but the interior has not really changed. You know, all the parts for it is kind of just stashed in the back. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of just sitting kind of in a hole in the back of this property. So it's just, it's kind of unfortunate. We all know this. But the truck's not going anywhere, so I want to make that really clear. 
So, and then this is another project that Mike is doing for a family friend. So that's, I don't know if we'll, we might cover that a little bit. Um, it's just kind of like get a nice old vehicle running and driving for someone who is new to cars. So that'll be kind of a cool project. We might do a video or two on that one in the future. Um, that is a 65 F100 big block three speed. So motor's locked up, but yeah, you guys get the gist. Just another two wheel drive slick side. Pretty cool truck. But anyways, these are the main focuses. So you can just see, this is really how it's been sitting for quite a long time. But I mean, we've had it covered up when it was raining and had most of the water out of it and covered back when it needs it. Um, but yeah, this one's just kind of chilling. You can see it hasn't really changed much at all. Still has the grabbers on it that we had. Uh, just pretty basic, you know, it's still, we still have to take that stupid outlaw sticker off the freaking window. I forgot about that. This one will make a comeback. And what we're about to talk to you about the black truck, everything will go in full circle. And this one will make a really big comeback. It'll be super cool. So we're gonna go check out the black truck and talk about it. All right, guys, today's video is sponsored by Tack Life Tools. Have you ever been stranded off-roading or in your old classic car and it breaks down on the side of the road because, oh, an alternator failed and you cannot start the car because your battery's dead? Well, needless to say, Tack Life has an awesome, super small and compact jumper pack for you guys that you can use when you're jumping on the side of the road. If you're out somewhere, you need somewhere to jump a vehicle that's been, you know, broken or something like that. Tack Life has a range of products between power tools, regular tools, your wrenches and sockets, and your classic regular tools you use every single day so today they did send me this jump starter we're actually going to try it out on my truck see how it works the nice thing is it looks like it has a couple accessory ports the nice thing is it's you can see how big it is next to my head it's very small it's not a big item so just thinks it work pretty well so let's get into this and open it up yeah, that's pretty sick so this is pretty nice because if you have an old classic car like me you can go ahead and actually just put this underneath the seat you know it looks nice it's not going to just fall all over the place the wires and the cables aren't going to go everywhere so it looks pretty compact which is really nice yeah i'm kind of blown away about how small this thing is i mean it fits in the palm of your hand it's only things only seven inches long i mean you could literally put this thing in your pocket if you wanted to and it could start a vehicle all right, you can see it actually has a little place on the side where you can put the jumper cables in. So if you don't need them all the time, you don't need it. It's even got a flashlight on it. What? Phone chargers. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty sick. Emergency lifesaver jump pack. That's pretty sick. So this thing's actually come really handy. On the side of the truck, I put it in my glove box, hanging out. So this is actually pretty cool. We've got everything kind of laid out. You can do anything with this. You can charge your phone. They got a little plug here, uh, and you can. This is your wall plug to actually plug charge this. So you pretty much would charge this overnight. You fill this up. This would you know power on do its thing and see it's I think it's actually fully charged nice so it's got a pretty good amount on it um, and then we can actually go ahead and plug stuff into this so if I want to charge my phone I can go ahead and just plug it into this on the spot um, we have an in and out right here to go ahead and actually charge the, the item itself I've got a flashlight right here that's pretty cool and then I can go ahead and go on the side where the jumper cable spot was and go ahead and plug this inverter in and then that'll you know allow me to go ahead and jump start my vehicle so that's pretty cool so I really was very surprised about the small size. I thought this was gonna be more of the size of a shoe box. It's actually quite small. Like I was saying, you can quite literally fit this thing in your pocket. This thing will start up to a six liter diesel engine out of this. That's quite crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and fully charge this thing. It says charge before use. So we're gonna charge this up and test it on my truck. All right guys, so I can see I got the thing fully charged, hooked up. I've deleted the battery, technically. I've got it hooked up directly to the cables and the motor is no battery active. So I'm gonna test see if this thing will start my truck. pretty cool look at that it started my truck literally effortlessly this is on a cold start too i have not ran my truck previously as you can tell it was kind of sputtery a little bit there so lastly i want to give a huge shout out to tack life tools for sponsoring today's video if you are interested in any of the tools you can go down to my description down below i'll have the product link down there you can check out this as well as many of the products that they offer as well as a promo code for you guys to get a discount on your order so go down and check it out let me know what you guys think Just imagine yeah. the hood like down <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So now you guys have not seen this thing in a while. Look at how massive this thing is. I just want to like point this out. Mike, you got to stand next to it for them to get the full picture because this thing's like almost as tall as your freaking house. This is a, those are these are Humvee wheels. If you've ever seen these, what size are these? 37, tw uh, 12 and a half, 16 and a half. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> 37s on the power wagon. Looks crazy. As you can see, you did rear brakes, rear disc brakes on it. Yeah, we changed over on the Dana 60. I found a guy that, online that does disc brake conversions. It's called Lugnut 4x4. They make them for all kinds of vehicles. They're a really good company. 
Hope the guy doesn't mind I'm advertising for him, but really good company. All new bearings, new seals, new bearings, seals. Yeah, you rebuilt the whole front, the axle. Whole front axle. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know if we showed that, but everything under here is it's not painted, but everything is brand new in terms of the hardware and the seals and the bearings on the front end. Um, and then you can see the brand new peeps of the 440 that's in there. I believe we showed that. We did a whole engine build series on this. If you have not seen it, I will link it above. You can go check that out. But uh, if you have not seen it, we did. It's very dirty. Yes, I know. Um, but this, there's an entire engine build series from scratch on how Mike put this engine together. Um, so I'll put a card up if you want to check that out. So this is the 440. It's a pretty mild build. It's not crazy, um, but it should, should get the job done. It still has to be small. So yeah, it can't go too crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say you guys got to keep that in mind. We were in California, so we'd have to keep that stuff in mind when we're building cars. Um, at least when this is this one's a 78. 76. Oh, it's 76. This is 76 D100 with three quarter ton axles underneath. Had the radiator gone through. This one's five core staggered, high fin count. Basically, we just need some wiring, finish bolting the headers up, and we can actually light this motor off. Like I said earlier, things have kind of changed. <laughs> We're slowing down on the on the vehicles. I have a really important one that I've been waiting too long to do. This is gonna get pushed aside for a little bit, and then when it comes back, you're, the next video of this truck, You'll either hate me or think we're geniuses, but we'll find out and hopefully you'll comment and don't be too harsh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got another truck that we're going to show you a whole... It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah, and the the next project, it's not a complete build. You'll see the finished product and there'll be just pictures of it in the process, but I think you'll really enjoy that car. All right, but yeah, we'll do a little, he got the halos in. What color are these ones? Red. These are the red ones. <laughs> yeah, these are gonna be sick. This thing's gonna have demon eyes. Uh, but yeah, I might as well do a little walk around for you guys that haven't seen the awesome paint job this thing has. If you haven't noticed already, it is green and blue on the one side, towards the back you can see. And on the other side, it's actually a uh, red and orange and yellow. So it's, it's, it's not, this, this, we have not, you know, neglected the fact that this thing has amazing paint. We're not changing that. So I can say the build is going to change completely. We are not changing the body of this truck. So I will let you guys ponder on your ideas. You can comment down below what you think we're actually going to do this thing and give us some months time because it's a big, big project and we have other things in line and work and I have schools, you, you know, you know how it goes. Um, so give us some time to actually get this videos, these videos done, but I can promise you, we will not let you down. This thing's going to be super cool. Uh, and then all of the stuff from this goes into other projects. It goes in full circle. I like I've been saying, but we unfortunately cannot tell you what we're doing right now. <laughs> it's going to be cool though. I promise. So this truck, is not going anywhere at the moment it is just waiting its turn so i cannot wait to show you how this thing is going to turn out i'm so pumped oh yeah we got to get a shot of this mural for people that haven't seen it so if you are new to my channel this thing has the most amazing 70s paint job ever look at it as a beach sunset on the back and then it's got all the graphics on the side it's it's super sick so but yeah uh i'm gonna let you guys ponder on that idea for a little bit until uh mike and i get the uh you know plans rolling and he gets his actual project done that I can't wait to share with you guys as well uh, when the time is right. So we'll be focusing on my big piece of junk that I just bought as well as all my other pieces of junk that I also own. So don't worry, there'll be videos on those as well. But I did want to make an update video on the Dodges because I know how much you guys love my Dodges or Mike's Dodges when I'm <laughs> posting videos of my Fords driving and braking and you're commenting, where are the Dodges? <laughs> So I understand, I'm, I'm, I see your guys' comments. So I wanted to make this video so you guys could see what was going on, you get a full plan. Um, so expect a video in the next probably month or two of us kind of actually going over and we're gonna give a full explanation of what, what this truck is gonna turn into and the plan for it with the Trail Duster. They're gonna work together and make two really awesome trucks that are one of a kind completely on their own. So cannot wait to share that with you guys. Mike's got some super cool ideas up his sleeve and hopefully I can help bring those ideas and share them with you guys. So like the video if you did enjoy it, let me know anything down in the comments below, some key ideas and some points that you think we should we should take note on. Anything you guys want to want to want to add down below, go for it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. See ya.